Welcome to AmineAcademy.com. In analytical solid geometry, let us discuss about foot and length of perpendicular from the point to the plank. Look at this figure. A plan is given and that a perpendicular is drawn from the point P of uh, x1, y1, z1 and the foot of perpendicular is m here let it be x y z now let the equation of the plan the equation of the plan is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals 0. Now let the point let p of x1, y1, z1 be any point outside the plane. Any point outside the plan the line pm is perpendicular to the plan perpendicular to the plan means here The direction ratios you can say now the direction ratios here is normal to the plan the plan are proportional proportional to a b c since the equation is ax plus by plus z plus t equals 0, since pm since pm the line pm passes through passes through x1 y1 z1 therefore the equation of the line the equation of the line pm is uh, x minus x1 over a equal y minus y1 over b z minus z1 over C equal suppose it is R let it be equal to R now you can see the coordinate of the coordinate of any point any point on this line is Coordinate points are AR by cross multiplying AR plus X1, then BR plus Y1 and CR plus Z1. These are the coordinate points. Since this point lie on the plan, since these points this point lie on the plan so we can write the equation of the plan like this a 
instead of x we can write a r plus x1 plus b plus our equation is ax plus by plus z equal to d plus d equal to 0 therefore you can say b into br plus y1 plus c into cr plus z1 equal 0. Now you have to get the value of r, the value of r and substitute and substitute uh, n and substitute in 1 all, and that is the foot of perpendicular now we get the value with the point as foot of perpendicular and this point point is foot of perpendicular and we can get the length of perpendicular we can get length of length of perpendicular pm by using the formula distance formula by using distance formula formula that is uh, length of perpendicular p equal modulus of a x1 because you have to put the point x1 y1 is written here b y1 plus c z1 plus d over the square root of a square plus b square plus c square now here not the point here suppose a perpendicular distance from the origin therefore perpendicular from origin origin to the plan is is here p equal here x1 y1 is at 20 zeros so therefore perpendicular distance uh, p is modulus of d over square root of a square plus b square plus c square now further we will uh, discuss about image or reflection of the point x1 y1 z1 in the plan ax plus by plus z plus t equal to 0 here the figure is given here suppose the point p is x1 y1 z1 you have to find the image of that point p about the given plan let it be here m suppose the image of the point p is 2 here let that point be x2 y2 and z2 now how to get that image of the point p here p of x1 y1 z1 be any point any point outside the plan
then q is an image q of x2 y2 and z2 is an image of of uh, p image of the point p now here m is the midpoint because p q is the image of point p about uh, the plan given plan therefore the point m is midpoint midpoint of line joining pq means mid, midpoint of the line pq so by using the this condition we can find the coordinate of point q which is the image of point p means here m is the midpoint of the point p and q use a section formula by using the ratios 1 is to 1 so we can find the point m uh, point m is already given so it's by using the condition we can get the point of q that is image of the point q you can find it we have done please subscribe our youtube channel